For Women's History Month, we are taking a closer look at feminism and the impact it's had on shaping our history. In a recent Southern Poverty Law Center poll, one in three Americans expressed that they felt feminism has done more harm mm. than good. But our next guest argues it's not necessarily the case. Elizabeth Cobbs is the author of the new book, Fearless Women, Feminist Patriots from Abigail Adams to Beyonce, and she joins us mm. here now. So good to have you. Thank you, it's so great nice. to be here. Congrats on the book. Thank yeah. you. You say, or you argue that Feminism has been important since the Industrial Revolution. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that we have this idea that feminism is kind of some oddball, newish mm. um, movement, and actually, it really explains all of American history, much of American history. We have this idea that Women's History Month is sort of like, you know, here's the main dish, and then let's have some peas on the side or something. You know, it's like pairs well with the rest. But really, you know, things like universal education that comes out of the kinds of things that Abigail Adams was, um, mm. you know. Uh, promoting and so with the fact that we have an industrial revolution the fact that we're able to abolish slavery the creation of a social safety net those were all things that of all things feminists were really involved in mm. and so it's I just love the idea of restoring our story to mm. us I love that how did you choose who to profile yeah. in the book there would be so many women but you went, I mean, you talk about Abigail Adams. She was one of the first women you, you chose to profile. Yeah, so each chapter has somebody I call the face of feminism and somebody is the sort of why we care. Because I think mm. there's this idea sometimes that people are complaining about, you know, kind of trivial things. And, and actually, we, unless you understand what we didn't have, you can't understand why it was so wonderful that we made the changes we did. Mm. The fact that the three of us are sitting here today, women were not allowed to speak in public in front of men. Uh, women could not, um, you know, go out in public really in, in any sort of uh, free kind of way and so these were all things that each chapter shows you how we got there so for example the uh, person that why we care woman in the chat one of the early chapters is Harriet Jacobs who is America's mm -hmm. Anne Frank I mean, she was an enslaved woman who hid in a teeny tiny garret for seven years to save her children oh. and to also avoid being uh, sexually assaulted by the man who claimed to own her and so each story is just this, you know, magical almost uh, description mm -hmm. of the sorts of things that, again, we take for granted and we think are, you know, uh, somehow automatic, and they were never automatic. Mm. The right to go to high school, that's what Abigail Adams fought for. Mm. And you have ladies like her, but then modern feminists as well, like Beyonce. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so it was so fun to do Beyonce because... That's a, a situation where sometimes people think, well, so how does she rate as a feminist? And yet, you know, here's a person who in her own personal life and in her music has put forward a, me a message of body positivity, a message mm. of female independence, of equality between men and women, and, you know, even bared her soul in some pretty hard ways, talking about her husband and their efforts to, you know, to be more equal because of his infidelity. And so, it's just very meaningful. It's just very mm -hmm. moving. I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm a novelist too, although this is not a novel. This is pure <laughs> straight up history. But I love telling the stories that mm -hmm. really move your heart. You've mentioned the word feminist many times. Some people are like shying away from that word right, right now. What do you think of that? Completely. Well, you know, I think of this, I call it feminist baiting. It's sort of like, it's a way to kind of keep women in a box. Um, like, well, you're only going to complain if you're a feminist. And actually, you know what? I love the definition that First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt gave, who basically said a feminist is somebody who believes that women and men deserve equal rights and opportunity and dignity. So it's mm -hmm. something that's really old in our history, but we've allowed it to become allowed it to become kind of tarnished. Right. Mm. You have a, an event tonight, your book release, right? So people can come out <laughs> and see you. And you're also joined with uh, another author, Liza Mundy. Yes. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited. She wrote The Code Girls about women code um, oh, yeah. cryptographers mm -hmm. in World War II. And so we'll be talking at Politics and Prose, and I hope people will come out. There's so much knowledge I can tell that you have I to know. tell us. I need more. I have so many <laughs> stories we want to hear from yes. you. But congrats and thank you for bringing thank this you. to all of us. No, mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So Fearless Women is out today. And Elizabeth's book launch again is tonight at Politics and Pro. So mm -hmm. go check it out. Hear more Absolutely. incredible stories. Yes. Thank you for being here.